Jr. here from Catalina Acres. So we are going to be moving our gilt Cassie in with uh, our uh, our grow out and our future board. So what we did with these guys, and I'm gonna step away because they're gonna get loud. So we pinned them up in a small, and this is where they're at now. And as you can see, we are training them with that wire. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see the wire on that side. Let me go around here. There you go. It's working. So it's a small perimeter. It's a small little area. This is our big boy. He's uh, one to be a future movie star. There he is. That is Curly. And boy, is he smelly right now. So, this guy right here, that's Poe. He is going to be our future boar. And that little guy right there, I don't know his name, to be honest. I don't think that we've named him. Bikini's over there trying to tell us that uh, something's going on and, you know. This is, there we go. They need their spotlight too, I guess. So let me walk away from here. So, I'm sorry, let me get a good spot because there's a bunch of poop out here. There we go. All right, so this, uh, it's not gonna work out. Every time I talk, those guineas talk too, so. Farm life, right? Okay, so we're gonna take Cassie in with those guys. We're gonna actually, my son is gonna help me out. He'll take the phone, record while I take her in. So, I am here with Cassie. She's our future sow. And I've got to get her into the pen with those chunky monkeys over there. So, the goal is for me to make sure that I'm careful with her. Right now, she's getting scratches from me. So, I'm trying to keep her calm so that... I can lift her up and take her over there. Um, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna see how it works out. I've got the whole herd here. That's Curly. Stinky boar right now. He smells. And that is salt right there. Future mama, hopefully. She just gave us a litter uh, not too long ago. She had five, but three didn't make it. And that's Cassie. Cassie is going to be our future sow. And she's a gilt right now. She's about four months old. About four months old, right, Bubba? Oh, yeah. Yep, about four months old. So, all right, I'm going to go see if I can calm her down so I can pick her up. Well, right now it looks like the boar has got all her attention or something else is going on. Oh, there was a piece it's of food. It's my sandwich. It was somebody's sandwich. Okay, well. Again, I'm going to pick her up very carefully and I'm going to pick her up by her hind legs and I'm just going to lift her and walk with her and then I will...
So I'm starting to think that Cassie does not miss her mama as much as I thought she, uh, she did. More or less, she just wants some of that big boy. They became buddies. So she wants to go cuddle with him. She's mad right now. She doesn't want to talk about it. She's trying to figure out a way to get over there. I'm going to have to put a hot wire or a fake hot wire coming this way from there so she can calm down. Exciting times here at the farm. I got all these chickens behind me. And they're not laying any eggs either. I don't know what the heck is going on, but we can't find any eggs out here. And then, funny thing is, we moved the pigs. We moved the little pigs anyway into their new area so that we can feed them and keep them away from the big guys and the big girls. And they got away. I think they had health though. But look, now everybody comes through there. So those little guys didn't do it on their own. Those guys are getting held by those big guys. And that's it. All these chickens. All these chickens. And we probably got about a dozen eggs. Something does not add up. <clears throat> so we managed to get them in here, but they're not happy. Not happy at all. Yep. Complain, complain, complain. That's all you do, little piggy. So we were going to neuter him. We're just going to go ahead and eat him. Uh, we will probably do that in a couple of weeks. Uh, again, our big boar is over there. And he's the one pushing up against that fence. So I think I've got some. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a hot wire over there so I can keep them off of it. Or I got to figure something out or else he's just going to push th through it again. Because uh, wires are definitely not doing it. And he's a big boy. He's weighing anywhere from 200 to about 250 pounds right now. Maybe bigger. He's definitely wide. Uh, Kuni Kuni boars uh, get anywhere between 300 and 350 pounds, full grown. He is, uh, what, two years? Going on two years? He's going on two years. And the sow right next to him is uh, going on two years, so that's the difference between both of them. Um, she's probably anywhere from 160 to about 180 pounds. And he's definitely 200 to about two, 250. He's longer, taller, wider, and smellier. My goodness, that guy smells right now. So again, we got the babies in here. And the whole purpose is to make sure that we give them food. Um, supplemental food so that we can get them fed properly. We don't have a whole lot of grass going on. And we're also training them to drink some water. And look at that. A day, a full day. They've been doing here. They've been here for a full day. And now, again, we're having to use the peanut butter, but they know where the water's at, and they know where the peanut butter's at. So it's definitely working. This is a little area, and it's got hot wire all the way through, poly wire, with a solar charger. Very easy, very simple. Um, as far as the <clears throat> the steaks we're just using rebar that's it nothing special nothing fancy just some uh, poly wire clips and some um, some rebar put it in the ground and then as far as the solar charger here it is 
Now, I'm not trying to advertise for anybody, but this is working pretty well for us. And we will continue using them. We have about three of these guys that we use throughout the property. So there it is, guys. So this video was uh, all about the Cooney Coonies today. But you cannot come out to the farm without talking to all these guys. Oh, look. Close up. Nice. Savannah goats. Spanish goats. Kiko goats. We got one full blood. You want to talk about your goats? Carried a couple weeks ago. But we don't know much about her. My father in law gave her to us. Those are my husband's sheep. <laughs> as much as he doesn't want to admit that they're his sheep, they are. And we were able to make a really good trade on them. We traded two Cooney Coonies for two sheep. And then we bought another sheep and she was bred and had a baby right before we picked her up and then we brought two more ewes the thinner ones over on the right are the newest additions and they are St. Croix sheep they're a more tropical sheep so humid and heat they're more tolerant of it because they have less dense fur and it is not wool-like. They lose it every year. My favorite goat, but she's mean to everyone except for me. It's Crystal. And that's the newest goat. That's Faith. And that's Faith. And she's a good girl, but she doesn't feel at home yet because everybody's mean. She'll figure it out eventually. She's definitely the biggest goat we have out here. And, um, our son, <laughs> our son went in halves with my wife as a, uh, uh, we're just trying to include our kids in our farm. Um, so, Gabriel, our youngest, he's got rabbits, and he tends to them, he takes care of them. Uh, I, <laughs> I have the sheep. My wife says the sheep are mine. Goats are very naughty, and you just have to have patience and, you know, give them attention. And it doesn't matter what kind of fencing you got, they'll figure out a way to test it and test you with your fencing skills because that's what they do and they love to chew, chew on everything right now it's my laces so let me get those out of the way so this is our buck his name is Gandalf he's actually a full savannah as well He's very gentle. He's a sweet boy. And the girls beat him up. But the girls beat him up. And he's nowhere near ready. As a matter of fact, we're going to separate him here in the next coming weeks. We need to build him a pan. And feed him. Fatten him up. Let his uh, muscles develop a little bit more. Because right now, our girls abuse him. And he shies away from them. So we're going to let him grow up some. Before we reintroduce because he is not even trying to breed at this point. Which means so one of the one of the reasons why we have what we have here in our property is because <clears throat> we've gone through a couple of uh, breeds already with goats. We did have Dorper sheep at one time, but we went ahead and moved away from them so that we can get everybody's food correct 
And by that I mean sheep cannot have copper. Goats require copper. Um, and this was before we learned about copper bolusing for goats, which we plan on doing. Uh, so that so right now we can feed alfalfa that doesn't have any copper, um, or a sheep and goat, which also has no copper. Uh, and we can give the goats a copper bolus, which has um, co copper to supplement them. And we won't give that to the sheep because it can be toxic. So <clears throat> we used to have boar goats, which is a, it's a meat. <laughs> it's the popular meat goat. It's the popular meat goat. We fell into the popular meat goat trap. Well, not necessarily. Um, <laughs> my wife was going for how pretty they are. And they are fairly easy to handle, very gentle as well. Uh, except for the bugs, they can get a little bucky. But that's with any, any, any buck, any ram. Those guys, sorry, they're tearing up my boot down here. Um, so I gotta get away. Okay, there it is. So we had them in our property. We thought at one point that it was us doing something wrong, but the fact of the matter is that the boar um, breed has been bred for show. They're beautiful, um, big bodies. And they're bred for big bodies and winning shows versus parasite resistance, mothering abilities. Um, so they may look great out in the show ring, but they don't do well um, when left on their own. Um, but we've also learned that pasture rotation is very important when keeping uh, ruminants because here in East Texas, or in Northeast Texas, barber, barber pole room bless it. Barber pole worm is a big problem and your goats can get infected and become anemic very quickly. So you need to keep an eye on their goat pellets and if they have runny stool you need to keep an eye on that. You also should do famacha checks on them regularly to check um, their inner eye membrane and see how red or pink or pale it is. If it's pale, your goat's in trouble. It's anemic. It probably has barber purple and you need to intervene with some sort of um, antithelmic warmer ASAP or risk losing them and they go down very quickly. We learned that the hard way the with hard boars. Way. Um, we went through a really bad year and we lost a lot of goats, unfortunately. Um, so our plan to switch to a different breed of goat that has not been in the show ring very much is still um, an easy keeper. So we're going with Tico, Savannah, Spanish crosses. And so far, so good. Uh, we did have a very dry year though, so barber pole was down. But again, pasture rotation and copper bolusing is important. We are implementing that on the homestead this year. And we switched uh, goat breeds to something a little more hardy and um, pest resistant. Now there's definitely still a meat goat and big body. Um, we're also going to be adding a dairy goat because I, I like to make cheese. So, Although Kikos are a dairy breed, so he could just milk those, but he wants a Nubian and giving her a try. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, and Nubian is uh, is also another big body goat. They're they're tall. Um, mass wise, they're not wide. They're they're tall. They they pack a pretty good weight behind them, but they're just not. You know, they're not a big breed. They're like, more frail looking, thinner. Kind of like your traditional dairy cow breeds, mm -hmm. Jerseys and Guernseys. Um, they all have a bonier look. Um, instead of putting their body to work and building muscle, their body works and makes milk. To produce the milk. So, kind of like the difference between a bodybuilder making muscle and a swimmer who is lean and strong. I like that
Okay guys, so again, we didn't mean to get into our little spill about our goats and our sheep, but we just can't help it. We try to spend as much time as we can. I, well, my wife more than anybody. Our boys, like I said, Alexander, our middle one, he's uh, invested now. So he's going to be out here with his goats. And then we have Gabriel. He takes care of his rabbits. So he's definitely... Um, involved and I, I help out wherever I can but that's it for today um, again like subscribe if you got any comments any questions go ahead leave them in there and uh, we'll do the best we can to answer them for you thank you guys